Uh, do you want to speak? When I point at you, yeah. Tell us again why we should sign Golo Conte. Well, his, his, his distance covered per 90 is fantastic. His key tackles per 90 are fantastic. Uh, his percentage of overall successful tackles is, is generally fantastic. And his mistakes leading to goals per 90, well, that is that is well, well below the average for the top five leagues. No, 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 no. No, you're supposed to say he gets on base. Try it again. He gets on base. I think we should sign him. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, so brilliant! So we have found a way to play Moneyball in Football Manager. We have found a way to get every single analytic out of Football Manager into an Excel sheet or Google sheet that's super easy for you to use. And we've created a bunch more analytics that you don't even have to plug in yourself. You're gonna be able to just use a sheet that we provide and those analytics will pop up automatically. On top of that, you will have the opportunity to come up with your own analytics that are smarter than everybody else's so that you can find the best players. This is quite simply the coolest thing that we've ever done. <laughs> it's late, excuse the hyperbole, but for some of you, this will actually be the coolest thing we've ever been able to make. It must be said, this is not originally my idea. This is actually the idea that a German YouTuber came up with in FM21, a dude with 47 subscribers that I would highly recommend you go subscribe to this person, even if you don't understand German and aren't able to watch the videos as a thank you for providing this tool for us, even though they did it last year. It is a great follow, Alex. And they are clearly a football manager genius. We thank them and we've attempted to take it even farther, but this is the original source of this way to pull the data out of the game and mess with it. And then a huge shout out to Nico, who speaks both German and English and emailed this to me, thinking that I might be interested in it, to which I said, Nico, this is insanely cool and proceeded to ask questions so that we could be here now. If you're into numbers, if you're into scouting, if you're into identifying wonder kids, this is the way to do it. And here's how. We've gone through a lot of steps to simplify this process as much as possible. We're gonna be doing the show and tell in my Floridsdorfer save that I'm streaming on Twitch. If you wanna hang out with me live, then the link to the Twitch is down in the description. If you want to just watch me play a save, you can obviously join the Twitch or we do have a live YouTube channel where we post edited versions and the entire stream the, the full version of every stream. Those edited versions somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes. That's like once a day. So very easy to consume if you just want to watch some something like television. I've been told I go great with a meal. It's because I'm a snack. Anyways, on this Twitch save, we're going into scouting and we go to player search. In player search, you are going to install a view. That sounds more complicated than it is. I have created a view that includes every relevant analytic in Football Manager that we are going to be using. There's a link down in the description to Steam. You go there and if you subscribe to it on Steam, it will automatically be put in your views folder. If you aren't on Steam, then there will also be another download link in the description for you, very clearly marked. You will have to go into Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2022, go to the Views folder, which if it doesn't exist, you can create a folder entitled it Views, and then you are going to put the file in there. Regardless, you will come into the player search, go to Custom, Import View, and then the view will be there, Zealand's Moneyball. Stats that are just as good, but with a worse jawline than Brad Pitt, debatably. Once the money ball view is up, you're going to want to make sure that everything is deselected so that we can get the exact players that you want. And then your choice comes into play. Every player that you are aware of in the database is going to have their stats available on this view, which means there's going to be a lot of players on this list, depending on the size of your database. Now you want to narrow it down a little bit because the processing time on the Google sheet is going to be longer the more players that you bring out. But you can, if you want to process 100,000 players into the sheet, it will work. It will take longer. So don't complain to me about the loading times because I warned you. If you're on a smart toaster, it might bring your computer to a halt. Now you can get whoever you want into this player search, right? There's so many different options for ways to sort players, 
But if you click on this bottom right arrow here, you go to club, you can go to division and then pick out specific divisions the players are playing in. I feel like this would be the feature that people will use the most to filter down their player search to players that they would want to look at. Because keep in mind, we're just looking at stats here, numbers that players are putting up. So if you are looking at the Welsh Premier Division, their ability to produce XG in the Welsh Premier Division is going to be slightly different than their ability to produce XG in the Premier League for obvious reasons. Over a couple months into the season, we'll take a look at the top five leagues. If you want to download that filter to save yourself a little time and get started, the Steam link is down in the description and the separate download link is in the description for a filter that has the top five leagues already selected. Similar installation process, it just goes into a folder called filters. Once you have the players in your player search that you want to look at, you have Zealand's Moneyball as your search view. You are going to click the top person. You're going to click control A, or if you're on a non-English language keyboard, you want the keyboard shortcut for select everybody. <laughs> Once you do that, and I mean this absolutely sincerely, do not scroll or the whole thing will get messed up. You cannot scroll, hands up. And you should start at the, the top person because I've heard very recently that if you do control A from like the middle of the bottom, even if you don't scroll, it will only take the players you're currently looking at. So top person, control A, don't scroll, control P. What we're doing is we're pulling that entire spreadsheet out. If you scroll, it will only pull the players that you have looked at actively. I obviously haven't looked at all 2000 players and I don't feel like scrolling for an hour and a half. So control A, no scroll, and we are going to print it as a web page. And at this point, it will drop it in that document sports interactive FM 22 folder. I'm just going to title it Zealand Moneyball Ballin' Out. So I'm cool. Now, if we go back to that folder, we will see all of that data extracted. Don't open it. It's gonna be ugly. And if you have too many players, it will quite literally run the space out of your browser. Like it won't even be able to open on your browser. So here's what we are gonna do. You all, well, you're gonna do. You go down into the top of the description. This is the first thing there. And this is the Excel spreadsheet that is already formatted so that you don't even have to do anything in like eight or nine advanced analytics. I honestly can't even remember how many we added. <laughs> we did it earlier tonight. It's two in the morning, cut me some slack. Advanced analytics will already be programmed to show you the information. You don't have to touch a thing. This is the most complicated thing you're doing. So you're gonna open that sheet and it's gonna say import and replace current sheet. And if we look at the bottom here, there are four sections. We're gonna go through all four and what you are looking at in each one. But all we need to do here is go to file, import, upload, and then we can actually just bring this up and drag it over. Zealand money balling out. We upload it. Once you've done that, you're actually not done. You're going to click this drop down and you are going to replace the current sheet, import data, and then go to the bathroom or something. With 2,000 players, that is actually real time how long it took. I honestly remembered it taking longer the last time that we messed with this. So that's your import here. Once this is done, you never have to touch it again. We click over to FM data. This is all the raw FM data that has been pulled. It's a lot of cool analytics that are in the game. Unfortunately, not all of the analytics that are in the game work. Like for example, Erling Holland is averaging 251 minutes per game. And despite the fact that he has played 932 minutes and allegedly has like two chances created. He's averaging 1.57 chances created per 90. So we've done our absolute best to remove the analytics that seem like they, they don't work, even though that they're in the game. This is the list of all of the ones that we have removed that we would recommend you don't trust on the player search. But what we have found is that on random instances, like somebody's XG, for example, was a little off that we found earlier, the, the stats can still be off. And so what I would recommend to you is if you are looking at some sort of per 90 statistic, just make sure that it is not incredibly obviously wrong based off of like the raw statistic where the whole, well, he's played 932 minutes, so he's not averaging 1.57 clear cut chances created on two. That's just a little disclaimer. The analytics are new to the game and football manager doesn't have all of them humming yet, it would seem. But they do have a freaking ton of them that are actually fully functional and allow us to do all these super fun crazy things. And all of those are here in their raw form. Don't touch them. We're just looking at it so that you know what is on this sheet because this whole sheet is wired to blow. What I mean by that is it is wired to give you cool analytics on the new data section. And it's in the new data section that we get pretty colors. Oh, I should mention just like the last one, 
don't touch this either. You'll be able to sort this stuff, I promise. These pretty colors make up a lot of our advanced analytics, some of which Nico already came up with, the dude that emailed me. Fantastic individuals got their own way of, of doing all of this. And we have added most of Nico's stats into here and added some more of our own. So you have your XG goals. What this is, is whether you're underperforming or overperforming your XG. This is a very useful tool for spotting players that are underperforming, but when they're in form, they're going to be great. For example, Erling Holland, five goals in 11 games. He should have 10 at least. Then we have non-penalty XG. We've assumed a 0.76 XG for the penalties in Football Manager. We've removed that from the goal equation and provided you with the actual XG of players accumulating outside of penalties. And then we went one step further, a non-penalty XG goal relation statistic, which is how much are they under or overperforming their XG non-penalty wise. Erling Holland still underperforming his XG and non-penalty XG by 4.46. And Yusufa Mokoko, penalties not padding at all, Five, he's still he's still overperforming his XG by over five goals. It's crazy. It's also calculating the non-pin XG per 90. So the non-penalty XG per 90 minutes for each player and the non-pin XG per shot. This is how much XG a player averages per shot. And it indicates in fact that Harvey Barnes is somebody that gets an incredibly high XG per shot. The minimum is 10 shots, by the way, because you don't want, you know, statistical skewing. The next one's a fun one. It's gonna save you guys. It's offsides per non-pin XG. This is how many times a person goes offside per one non-penalty XG. So somebody like Yusufa Mokoko has actually not been offside all year. So they have zero offsides per one non-pin XG. But our friend right below them, that would be Kareem Adeyemi, 4.39 offsides per one non-penalty XG. A real problem in his game. But enough of the goal scoring stuff. We have assists per key pass, which is how often a key pass ends up turning into an actual assist. And how about a stat for the midfielders or the wings or the fullbacks? It's net fouls. This is essentially the easiest analytic we have. It is fouls that they've committed subtracted by fouls against them. So if you have a negative net foul number, that means that you get fouled a lot more than you foul other people. It's the other way around. You're a bit little, uh, a little rambunctious. Yellow cards per tackle can help you calculate the danger of actually playing somebody and tackles one per 90 with a minimum of 900 minutes is calculated for you. So we're pretty early in the season. Not too many players have that, but we can see that oh, 1.61 and tackles one per 90 minutes is solid. And perhaps our most complicated analytic, defensive actions per 90, which I won't even attempt to explain to you. I all is going to show you what is actually goes into this. Calculates your overall defensive involvement to one, if you're assessing your own team factor, how involved somebody is in your overall defense. And two, if you're assessing players on other teams to you know, assess how well they involve themselves in tackles and headers and those sorts of things. By all the equation. Basically, the stats we are adding together are clearances, interceptions, tackles one, minus key tackles, and key tackles times 10. So that a key tackle counts as 10 times more important than any ordinary tackle one. Finally, we add headers one multiplied by a constant factor of 0 0.8. If you know your way around a spreadsheet, then you can have the factor be decided by each player's position. That way, you can have it so headers one count the least for strikers, with a factor of 0 0.2 for instance. And then they gradually count more for attacking midfielders and wingers, midfielders, defensive midfielders, fullbacks, and finally center backs. Now, ideally, we'd be able to add a few more stats like blocked shots and pressures, which exist in real life. Unfortunately, Football Manager does not give us access to these, but if you add all those stats up, which is clearances, interceptions, tackles one, key tackles times 10, and the headers one multiplied by a factor, then the final number you get is your total defensive actions. If you then divide that number by the number of minutes played and then multiply that number by 90, you will get defensive actions per 90. And then we have all of our other analytics over here to the side. And it's worth mentioning, we have also added a couple of analytics that the game didn't have. And some of those analytics I showed on the side that I said were wrong, we actually have. We've written the script for you to get minutes per game accurately, to get tackles attempted, and to get distance covered per 90. Mine's going to be in miles. Yours will be in whatever your game's interface is set for. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, when you plug in your initial data, there might be one or two more columns over here of analytics that we've been able to, to kind of rectify that the game didn't quite get right. And then the last sheet, which is search. This is where you come in. So you're gonna go just to the bottom right corner and you're gonna keep going 
and there's like a red subscribe button. But if you don't hit this entire Google Sheet, it's going to erase in five seconds and you won't be able to play with analytics ever again. <laughs> no. So now we're finally ready to bring all of these stats into the search section for you to actually be able to mess with them. You should not touch anything in the import here, the new data, the FM data, none of that. All you need to do is grab the new data. You click in the top left and hit control A or the equivalent in your keyboard's language. And then you're going to hit control C, which is you know, the command for copy. And if your keyboard's in a different language, it's gonna maybe be something else, something to keep an eye out for. And then we go over to the search section, which as you can see is completely blank. You're gonna right click on A1, go to paste special, and then we are going to take uh, values only. Now I know it doesn't have the pretty colors, but those colors only serve the purpose of you being able to see what's high and what's low. And now we can actually come over and sort who is underachieving their goals the most and who is overachieving their expected goals the most. And we can sort that very comfortably. Or maybe we want to see who has accumulated the highest amount of yellow cards per tackle. You just click on this little top section and you sort is Z to A, you'll see the highest value. A to Z, you'll see the lowest value top. We actually have somebody accumulated two yellow cards per tackle. This means they got a yellow card for something else that didn't involve a tackle. Maybe two something else's that didn't involve a tackle while only winning one tackle over the course of the entire season. I would like to congratulate Omar Kali of Sampdoria for pulling off this miraculous feat. This search section, you can sort by absolutely anything. And it's got all of the different sections that you've seen on your FM data screen that were then moved into the new data screen and finally into the search section. This is also where if you are uncomfortable with the idea of potentially messing something up in the previous three pages, which you shouldn't sort the previous three pra uh, pages, you shouldn't really try and add things to the previous three pages unless you really know what you're doing. Here you can attempt to write different scripts on Excel in order to create new stats that can help you identify people even better than before. And if you want to do that and participate in that sort of thing, we are gonna have a channel in the Discord specifically dedicated for analytics nerds. It'll be for you to discuss the different analytics you've created or the different combinations of analytics you've used to identify wonder kids and find players that have helped you win and win trophies. But I am certainly not the person to teach you about Excel, so if you wanna go there, you can do it, but there is more more than enough information available with all of the stuff we've come up with and aggregated for you here and the new analytics that we have created as well for you to be able to identify fantastic new players in a money ball fashion. And once you have those players, of course, training is going to be incredibly important. So I'd recommend checking out this video where we start a multiple video series talking about how to best train your team to win matches and develop players. I'll see you on another video. Enjoy Moneyball. It's fun.